everybody. Welcome back to the... Uh, what the... F what is this game? Um... I guess I'll go towards it. Uh. Hey. Okay. 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 What is going on? Oh my god! Okay. This is the weirdest game ever. I love it. That is some amazing graphics, though. Oh balls! Oh god! Oh no! And. Oh, Holy God, crap! This is awesome. The graphics are so the graphics are amazing. Oh, dude! One second I was in the forest, and now I'm doing this. Holy crap! I guess I'm supposed to just sit here. Oh Jesus! Oh, plane! Oh, my God. oh, there's another one. And another one. That's like the greatest graphics. And another one. That's like the greatest graphics I've ever seen in my life. And another one. And this is just like a tiny indie. Oh, and a baby one. Oh. It's so peaceful up here. Too. Nobody's killing anybody. Shit. Supposed to be something happening? Okay, now what? What? Just a note? Are you freaking kid? Fangs! The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited. Thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue, that the creature had only seen among the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a peering group of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing out its needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug it into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast-like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, oh my god, what's happening? Stories, always with the stories. Which are? I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Bro. What just happened? Blaine! What? What just happened? Did I get, you just like teleported back in there? What's, what's this? Oh, Gaylord. That's nice. Uh. Abstruse Tale is America's finest science fiction, January 1964, 40 cents, featuring Yellow Hills on Mars by Douglas Spaulding, plus Julian West, Michael Arden, Clarence Carlyle, and many others. Travis's defacement, he wrote Gaylord. That's a mean word. Well... Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to the bridge. I guess. I don't really know. No, no. I have no idea. I uh, have been this way. I don't really care, so let's just ignore that way anyway. I'm gonna follow the railroad. Cause you know <laughs> why not? This this is the most mysterious game I've ever played in my life and it's just so beautiful. Captivating. Railroad. 
Railroad. Got an abandoned. What's this? I love the music too. The music is sweet. The music has some. S I agree. That was part of the pattern. Large yeah. pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain the worst versions of themselves. Yeah, that's so deep. Dark things grow. I'll be right back, everybody. Give me like thirty seconds. All right, what's up, family? Now let's, uh... <laughs> um... Okay. It looks to be getting it more and more interesting as I go along. What are you? Oh, you're a closed window. Very close. Ooh. Wayne, look! It's getting real wacky. Man, it's so beautiful. That house is awkwardly tilted. God dang. Selfishness. Madness. I suppose the idea is if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. I need to find out who this voice actor is. Dude makes everything compelling. Hmm. What else to do but go in a creepy tilted house that looks like it'll fall off that mountain any second? I don't like this, but I love it. Very, uh, creepy environment. I feel like this game is, like, really trippy. Hello. Oh, no. Oh. There's a note. There's a note. Ethan. I invoke the boundless one, the one of the voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great mi minister Focaller. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path of false, uh, false city and guile. And permit only those who can discern every time, and every true and true ear to pass. Agmonto. Tetragram, Vigion, Stimulation, Esrez, Tetragrammatron, Aliram, Arion, Estion, Existion, Ariana, Onera, Horizon, Mosm, Messiah, Soder, Emmanuel, Saboth, Adonai, Teodoro, Et Te, Invoco, Amen. Weird. Okay, now what just happened? Okay, so this game teaches you something very. Very true. Don't ever read anything weird. Look at this. What is this, Blaine? Jesus. Stuff. Yeah. Hey, what is that? What is that? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so is there only one of those? I feel like it's about to get real trippy. All right, let's go through. Jeez.
Oh no. Oh god, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, what? Okay, so... I done diddly did it wrong. Now what's this? Okay. <clears throat> hey. Okay. Um okay, two doors. This is really confusing. Um Let's go. I don't even know what to do with that. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so. God dang it. Well. Okay. Okay. So. Let's go a different route. Or not. I don't really think there is one. Okay. Wow, I'm actually doing good. Well, we're going to end this episode here. I love you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.